So we are now in the basement of the main house uh, and this is the hallway of the recreational rooms where the cafe and gift shop was and um, excuse our dust, um, we are still in the process of getting ready to um, renovate this area following Hurricane Irma but uh, remember we were uh, a while ago we were upstairs and uh, next to Deering's sitting room is his private elevator so that's the second floor that would go down so he could kind of go privately from his private suite to the swimming pool area and I'll show you where that was the elevator comes down and you go out straight into the uh, pool area, the pool grotto. But already a long time uh, ago this, this area was repurposed and um, his elevator was actually first damaged during the 1926 hurricane, so that was the year after Deering had passed away. And then again in 1935, and at that time it was uh, locked into place. And, the, um, and, and several decades later, when this was a museum, this area was repurposed. And you see here behind me, these are halon tanks, and there are all kinds of pipes and systems here too that lead to the rest of the uh, basement. So now we are in the uh, swimming pool grotto. So when Paul Chalfin and James Deering were in the process of decorating the uh, main house and furnishing the decorated rooms, um, they did not only get Italian decorative arts and uh, antique furnishings and marble sculptures, they also commissioned work from uh, contemporary American artists. For example, on the barge, there are the sculptures of the uh, American artist Alexander Sterling Calder. In the uh, Marine Garden, there are the sculptures of peacocks on tall uh, columns, even though at, at the current time they are in storage. There are the, uh, the lizards and the frogs that surround a fountain on the South Terrace by um, Charles, Charles Ramsey. And then there is the, um, the ceiling, where we are now in the swimming pool grotto by Robert Winthrop Chandler. Chandler was a celebrated artist during his lifetime. In 1913, many of his works were included in the Armory Show in New York, this What is Shed exhibition that introduced modern art to America. Chandler was quite prolific. He created many folding screens, portraits, um, um, leaded glass uh, panels, for example, he was commissioned to decorate the private studios of Gertrude van der Bilt Whitney in New York and on Long Island. He created an extensive mural for the Colony Club in New York and he did many other works and in interiors for various grand homes and Gilded Age estates. So Chandler was originally commissioned to create uh, a series of panels that were to be installed in the uh, recreational rooms in the, in the basement but uh, cost was really an issue, so that commission was dropped and instead he was commissioned to create two other works. One of them is a two-sided, five-fold screen called Vizcaya Bay. One side displays European explorers and Native Americans meeting in a lush Florida landscape with flamingos and alligators. And the other side shows a monochromatic landscape inspired by the silk wall coverings in Vizcaya's reception room. And the screen is currently um, exhibited in the sitting room on the second floor at Vizcaya. Now, the other work that um, Deering commissioned from Chandler uh, is this uh, fantastical mural that gives the impression of being immersed in an other, uh, underwater scene. So when you look around here, um, you see the multicolored glittering fish above you. Well, imagine it, how it was originally. So just imagine that you're floating on your back here in this pool with, with water coming from, from above and from below. But it's, it's, it's interesting to know that this, um, this ceiling was made of plaster and it has posed a problem very, from the very beginning. I believe it was in 1917 already that uh, there, were, there was a letter exchange between Deering and Chalfin about the problems with this, uh, this ceiling. 